హలో ఐఎమ్ డాక్టర్ సతీష్ బాబు సీనియర్ కన్సల్టెంట్ ఈఎన్టి హెడ్ అండ్ ఎక్స్ సర్జన్ వర్కింగ్ విత్ అపోలో హాస్పిటల్స్ బెంగళూరు ద హియరింగ్ టెస్ట్ క్యాన్ బీ ఆఫ్ టూ టైప్స్ వన్ ఇస్ ఎ సబ్జెక్టివ్ హియరింగ్ టెస్ట్ వేర్ ద పర్సన్ హ్యాస్ టు రెస్పాండ్ వెన్ అవర్ ద సౌండ్ స్టూమలస్ ఇస్ గివెన్ టు ద ఇయర్స్ అండ్ దేర్ ద పర్సన్ హ్యాస్ టు బీ కాన్షియస్ ఓరియంటెడ్ అండ్ ఈ షుడ్ హ్యావ్ ద బేసిక్ ఐక్యూ టు పర్ఫామ్ దీస్ యాక్ట్స్ now this can be done only reliably after 6 years of age in children and it can be done at any age otherwise uh, if the person is mentally normal the other type of tests are called objective tests where the person's response is not required they are performed very much like our ecgs where you just attach some leads to the head and uh, the sound stimulus is given to the uh, test ear through a soft headphone and the response of the hearing pathway the nerves and the brain is recorded by electrophysiological methods very much like ecg and uh, that gives us uh, the exact uh, picture of the hearing levels for the subjective hearing test that is a normal pure tone audiometry what we call the person is asked to wear a headphone uh, which is uh, uh, you know covering both the ears fully and a sound stimulus is given at various Uh, sound levels uh, loudness levels uh, to determine that particular frequencies uh, threshold now this test is repeated in all the audible frequencies from 250 hertz to uh, about 8 to 10000 hertz of um, hearing and at different uh, volumes it is given and the person is to respond by raising the finger uh, or pressing a button saying that he is he or she is able to hear now and the, uh, the volume is varied in different uh, settings and the threshold is determined across the frequency and plotted in a graph as for the um, uh, objective uh, test like i said the leads are attached on the skull in different places and a soft uh, headphone is attached for this test to be performed the person should lie down uh, you know quietly without any movements or talking so in case of children it it is done due when they are sleeping deep or if they don't sleep then we have to give them some medication make them sleep uh, go to the deep plane of sleep and then this test is for performed so uh, these tests can be plotted in a graph and and the results read out and uh, that gives us the clue to what is happening inside the ear